Good to go. Hi, I'm John Twist of University Motors. Today I want to talk just really briefly about ignition coils and a, a very, very essential part in your ignition system. So there are two types of ignition coils. There's the normal 12 volt coil that you'd use on your car, 1945 through 1974 and 1980. But between 75 and 79, it's not a normal ignition coil. It's a coil which says on the outside of it, use with external resistor. And it's really a six volt coil. So these, these coils here, these two coils here, have got three ohms of resistance across the primary leads. Three ohms. A sports coil, which this is, has got fewer ohms, maybe two. But a six volt coil has got one and a half ohms. So the very difference, the very difference between a, a normal 12 volt coil used from 45 through 74 in 1980, that's got three ohms, but that 75 through 79 has only got one and a half ohms. And sometimes it's, un, it's not easy to tell from the package. Sometimes the 18 year old guy selling you the coil at, at Pet Boys who doesn't know what an MG is, he doesn't even really know what a coil is either. He's just selling you a box. So best if you put your, your ohm meter on this and just check it before you mount it to make sure that it's a three ohm coil. Except 75 through 79, if it's powered with the, with the uh, white with green wires, and uh, that's, that's the reduced voltage. So, this is an old style Lucas coil with a screw in cap. Really cool screw in cap, but this has got spade terminals on it. This is a Lucas sports coil also with a screw-in cap with spades on it. Um, this has got nuts on the front of it that used, um, uh, uses ring terminals instead of, instead of the spade connectors. And this one here also uses nuts, but it's got spade terminals on it. So you can put a ring terminal on this if you wish. A lot better to use a spade so you can plug it in and plug in and unplug it real easily. The earlier coils are marked SW for switch and CB for contact breaker. That's for positive earth system. Switch and contact breaker for positive earth system. So for a long time when we switched earths and made a, a positive earth car negative earth, I'd switch these, these terminals, but that's wrong. It doesn't matter whether it's positive or negative earth, SW goes to the switch and CB goes to the contact breakers, no matter what you've got going on. If you've got a coil that's marked plus and minus, as this one is, if it's a positive earth system, then, then the, um, the negative is hooked to the positive and the positive is hooked to the negative on, on your system. So your switch, your switch is going to come down to the negative side and your points are going to come off the plus side. Stop. I'm not even sure that's good to go. So that's the that's the the uh, dark and dirty, the quick and quick and nasty about it. Um, you know the the brackets that you get to hold the coil have got a certain distance off them to mount the coil correctly. And when you buy a modern coil, they're slotted. Um, they'll usually fit, but. Some coils are different in diameter, so the, the strapping that you get to hold them uh, won't hold one coil over another. 
Oh, look at this one. This one says 12 volt coil standard. So this is just a 12 volt coil. It might say, another one might say 12 volt use with external resistor. And that would be that six volt coil. I didn't even see that on there. So that's just the, the, the quick course on ignition coils. This is John Twist, safety fast.